Et c'est un acteur global, un autre acteur global que j'ai le plaisir d'accueillir maintenant sur scène. Martine Catriner, vous allez vous exprimer en anglais. Vous représentez un géant. Thomas Wiesel en a dit quelque chose tout à l'heure. Samsung, quand je dis un géant, c'est un vrai géant. C'est près de 20% du PIB coréen, Samsung. C'est pas rien, un géant, un champion de l'innovation à qui il arrive parfois d'avoir un petit problème, oui, c'est vrai. Euh, un géant de l'innovation qui est en concurrence avec nombre d'entreprises de la région. Vous allez nous parler, je crois, de l'Internet, des objets, dans la stratégie de votre groupe Samsung. Martine Catriner, the stage is yours. Oui, là. Oh, sorry. Thanks, thank you. So amazing. I will talk about dogs, wolves, and Volvos tonight. Hi, my name is Martin. I'm in charge for corporate affairs with Samsung. Well, I do that in Switzerland. I do that in Brussels and in London, in a pan-European team where we are working on the global megatrends. And listen now, the global megatrends for Samsung, they always have a risk and an opportunity. So tonight we will talk about opportunities. I'm also leading a small team in Seoul, in our headquarters, where we are doing strategy reviews. So I have every layer, basically. I can tell what's on, on a global scale. I can tell what's on in Brussels when it comes to policy issues. And I can speak for Switzerland, for SMEs, for small and medium businesses in, in Switzerland. Well, and I've been attending so much conferences and events where everybody was just providing buzzwords of, we need to go digital, and it's so important to be digital, and we need to do it now because of, and I'm getting It's boring to hear that we need to do because of competitiveness. We need to know how. And I will talk about exactly that one, how to do. So that's the agenda. It's very easy. We do it in a two-step module. First step is, as in school, we need to understand the basics, where we are. What is this digital era we are talking about? So, and here we are. These are the global megatrends. I will talk about them in the next couple of minutes. Now, if you see social issues, technological changes, economy, these are all impacting our business. I will make you a quick example. Changing households means that in certain markets, we have smaller households with older people. So what kind of washing machines do smaller households with, uh, with older people need? Small ones, which you can install on the wall. Not to like, uh, put it in and, and take it out. So that's, that's the one perspective when it comes to product development. Of course, we will talk about the tech, no, tech changes, the big things like artificial intelligence. We will talk about artif artificial intelligence tonight, of course. And we have something changing in the world, you know? We have polarization. We have this phenomenon like Brexit. We have Duterte in the Philippines. We have Trump in the United States. So it's polarization. So what does this mean? And this is the age where we exactly live in. We need to understand that, and we need to accept that, and we need to shape our business, well, amongst them, the global megatrends. So this is the big picture. Let's step forward. Everybody is talking about the IoT. Here, again, I'm getting bored. What is the IoT? I sat down together with my team by saying, boys, I want to know what it is. And we came up with this one. It's two things. It's convergence and it's divergence. And the interesting thing is, my fellows, the smartphones are always in the center. So what does this mean? It means, on this side, 
A smartphone is converging with my car, with my laptop, with my refrigerator. The refrigerator is talking to Migro, asking for more milk. And the TV is also involved. So devices, digital gadgets, are converging to each other. And in the center, there is always the smartphone. This is the very much heart of it. You see? So and on the other side, it's diverting. And what does this mean? This means we have different functionalities. Mobile payment, big buzzword, especially in Switzerland where we have a great movement in the market. Or does anyone of you track how much steps you are making? Each day, 10,000, 6,000 maybe, maybe less. So it's vitality data collected with that one. That's also IoT. And it can be every, anything else in a sports sector uh, with virtual reality, with all these wearables. So it's di diverting amongst functionalities. And here, again, the smartphone is in the center. So that's for us, basically, the easy concept of IoT. OK, let's, we, we can discuss how a smartphone will look like in the future. Probably I can roll it up and stick it here, or I have it on my jacket. We will see. But however, we think that the smartphone will be and will remain in the center. The next very much important trend, and this is for you who are running businesses, who are involved in our economy. This is very important. Next global mega trend. Today we have sometimes 4G, mobile connectivity on my smartphone. In here, a little bit more bad. Sometimes 3G, sometimes less. Now listen to that one. In 2020, in Switzerland, there will be 5G. And 5G means a 10 gigabyte per second connectivity. Does anyone know which is the, the most fastest line via fiber in Switzerland currently? It's one gigabyte per second. It's 10 times the connectivity. It's 10 times faster in 2020. Why are mobile phones antennas? We need to understand that. That, and now what we learned, you know, we went from the big pictures, the global megatrends, what is changing in the society, what is changing in the world. We went down and we learned about IoT. And then we went down and we learned about connectivity. And still the smartphone is in the center. So what does this mean for me and for my business? Now I'm talking about wolves and dogs. This is the wolves and dogs on a platform slide. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so it's artificial intelligence. What is artificial intelligence? Um, it's very easy for you to say which one is the wolf. Is it? That's easy for us. For a computer, this is quite a nut to crack. So what software engineers are currently working on is that a computer program can say, this one is the wolf and this one is the dog. And they are working on things like, you don't need to teach them that you need to um, say, this one is the wolf and this one is the dog. They learn it by themselves. And that's artificial intelligence. Now, AI is quite interesting will be quite a boost. But now imagine if you have all this information on a platform with big data, then it will be huge for your business. So artificial intelligence here is linked with big data. And I used to say to people, I talked to, to uh, a board member of a car sharing company and I told him, hey, let's start to collect big data and let's link it with artificial intelligence. You will be tremendous rich in five years. 
So that's important. We need to understand that. This is a global megatrend. If you don't do it, the other one will do it. We heard about virtual reality. Some of you maybe already have had a taste of what virtual reality is. At Samsung, we choose to have the smartphone as the display for, virtual, for a virtual reality device. And now I'm getting back to my concept of IoT. Do you remember functionalities, virtual reality, consumer product? How can I emotionally engage my consumer via virtual reality? This should be a question for you. So, and now we can link it with augmented reality. I'm sure all of you heard about Pokemon. Now, in 15 years, we will have the smart lenses. Okay, I hope in 15 years we will have it. The smart lenses, which means I will have a display right in my eyes. Imagine that. So I will watch Netflix by just clicking clack and I'm on, I will have Netflix right in my eye. But also can look here on the audience, and I will get the information from your so social media boss right here. And this is probably 15, 20 years uh, from now, this will happen. And there is Novartis and Google in a joint venture working exactly on that one. So now, no, Google seems to be reasonable why. But why Novartis? Because the smart lens will be that device who is in my body providing health data. And then it's getting more crazy and more interesting for our business. So that's, a, that's a, another global mega trend. And here I would like to wrap up and say what does this mean for us? We have something called collaborative economy. There are people calling it shared economy, which is wrong. It's collaborative economy. And we know, we all know Uber. So I need to talk about Uber. We, we all know Uber, how it's working. It's moving me from A to B in a convenient way. But listen, there is a, there is a thing from Uber where they want to send goods from A to B. So if, I have, if I'm running a flower store, I can simply call an Uber to provide this nice rose to your wife because you order it for her and it's very convenient for you as a consumer. Now Uber went a step further and they opened the API so that my flower store can simply implement everything from Uber in my website. And this is collaboration. And here again, I'm telling everybody, and I'm doing a hell lot of consult, consultant work for big companies, please collaborate. This is the new era. And I think this is a very good example. Now I'm talking about Volvo, almost the last thing I will say tonight. So Volvo went beyond and asked, you know, the team asked, what can we do for our consumers? What, sh what should we do next? And they said, well, let's open a Volvo for Migro. And now, that's the easy thing. I go, it's not available in Switzerland, by the way. It's available in Sweden, but not here. But I, I take Le Shop as an example. So I'm ordering on Le Shop my goods. You know, I need some, some food, fresh milk, some bread, some pasta. I order it and I say, please deliver it to my home, please de deliver it to my office, or please deliver it to my Volvo. Because it's geolocated. Le Shop knows where my Volvo is. And they are arriving at my Volvo, and the system is connected, the trunk is getting open, they put everything in it. I get, a, I get a text message on my cell phone by saying, everything is in there, and by the way, there is me, shall I cool down the car? Now, you are laughing, that's, that's reality. And that's collaboration. And that's, that's a thing of convenience for the consumers we need to do. And the thing is, what to do now? 
What we learned from Amazon, from Google, from Facebook, and even from Samsung is that these big companies, they have platforms where you can do such things we just went through, where you can implement the global megatrends easily. And the big companies, they have so much money to invest in this platform that the economies of scales is almost for free. And here I'm not kidding. That's a new principle of economy. So now as a SME, a small or medium business in Switzerland, we need to learn first, where in my value chain can I open up, can I collaborate with a platform already existing? Because simply enough, most of the companies in Switzerland, they don't have the billions to invest, to invest in a platform where a lot of consumers are just sucked in generating clicks, meaning big data, meaning additional profit. My name is Martin Kaltrainer. Thank you so much. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, Martin.